Hello and more than 10,000 families could benefit from a new community care fund scheme designed to help them improve their living conditions. The scheme targets people who are not receiving social welfare. Needy families can receive a one-off housing subsidy of up to $8,000 each. Evelina Lung reports. Mrs. Lung's family of four is what's known as an end-nothing family. That is, no welfare, no public housing, basically no benefits. They live in a 100 square foot subdivided room. It is families like the Lungs the new Community Care Fund housing subsidy scheme will be targeting. While she is happy her family might get up to $8,000, what they really want is a public housing flat. Single persons can get a one-off lump sum of $3,000, $6,000 for two-person households, and up to $8,000 if there are three people or more. Eligible applicants including people living in bed spaces, subdivided rooms, temporary housing, and possibly the homeless as well. To qualify, applicants must not own any property, nor can they be receiving comprehensive social security assistance. We have decided to adopt a plan to uh, help those who are inadequately housed uh, and who uh, are carrying uh, low incomes uh, to uh, have a one-off uh, allowance to help them uh, uh, look after their families better. The scheme is suspected to cost the community care fund $90 million and 13,000 families will benefit. Many households here in Sham Shui Po are like Mrs. Lung's family. They live in tiny flats and most of their income goes towards the rent. Some of them say the fund's new subsidy scheme will not improve their living conditions. Mwai Tung of the Society of Community Organization believes the number of homeless people who might qualify will be about four times as many as the 100 or so the government estimates. He says what the homeless really need is a roof over their heads. There are also plans to make certain schemes under the Community Care Fund permanent. For example, a meal subsidy program for primary school children from poor families would be included in the government's recurrent expenditure from 2013. The scheme will be managed by the Education Bureau in future. Evelyn Lang, TVB News.